morning welcome to the channel and merry christmas and i'm out on my first ride straight after christmas boxing day morning and it is a beautiful morning finally after three weeks of non-stop wind and rain i finally got on the bike and today is my first ride with the dji osmo action free so let's hope the footage is good uh, so all i've done is took it out of the box and I pressed record so I've changed no real settings on it so bear with me on my first ride if it's not working out right because I'll have to go back and see what it's like on the edit to see if it's any good but hopefully straight out of the box for idiots guides like me it'd be perfect and obviously I've got the DJI mic as well so hopefully the audio will be spot on too so let's get on and let's get on the bike and let's see where we go eh? Woohoo! First hill of the day. Done. Now descending. It's really good to be back out. The DJI I've got it set to rock steady, so hopefully the stabilisation should be all right. So I've got some really exciting plans coming in 2024. Uh, the three weeks I've had off of not being able to get out. I've edited some older videos and I put them at the end of the video on a surpass and uh, one what I did in, in winter. And uh, there really are some really good views on there if you do want to see it. And 2024 it's given me a chance to make some decent, brilliant routes up in the Yorkshire Dales and in the Lake District. So hopefully 2024 should be good and I've got some more big exciting news on the bike front in April early May time I will be getting a new carbon bike and the plan is to do a full year's training on it uh, till May 2025 and then attempt the Fred Witten which will be the biggest challenge I've ever done in my life so subscribe and follow to see all that because it should be epic and I'm just going up a bit of a hill now so sorry if the breath goes but let's carry on Let's see how the DJI copes with low light sun like that because in my eyes it looks absolutely beautiful. And I just want to quickly show you this, usually I edit this out but I just want to show you how good this is for me to change over from stick to chest. Watch this. How quick was that? That was absolutely brilliant. These are a godsend, these little magnetic clips. That's absolutely brilliant. Right, let's get on. The climb pro's back and I've got a nice little climb to go up. So, uh, yeah, let's go eh? and see how we get on after eating all that turkey yesterday. It's actually not a too bad a climb, this. It's uh, quite a gradual type one. It's quite a good to warm your legs up. Uh, yeah, I've been on the turbo trainer in the house, but just not the same as being out. Cloud doesn't look great over there, getting a bit of rain. But the legs feel like they want to be out, feel like they want to turn. And it feels good to be out. So I don't know if you noticed that then, with that little piece. That's another good thing with the action camera. The magnetic things, I just stuck that then to a lamp post. And I can do B-roll pieces coming past the camera by just sticking it on a lamp post instead of changing it to the mount. 
and it works really well. Now let's go and get you a view if this cloud gets rid of. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's a rainbow. I'm going to climb up this hill. Rainbow. Like I say, we had, we've had rain for about three weeks. And it said it wasn't going to rain today, but still got it. So the land seems to be coping really well with it rain and uh, just got on my first steep climb I thought I'd just record it see how it copes with it the steep bit I'm all gear I used to struggle with this a few years ago Problem with there. <coughs> Whoa, what a view! Markham Bay and Heesham there, and then you've got the Trough of Borland over there, and them fells, and then over there that's Coniston, Coniston of Old Man. So you're getting out a bad view from here and uh, that was a nice little climb that just to get me turkey burnt off and uh, yeah I really enjoyed it. So yeah I'm going to descend down now and uh, see what the footage is like so stay with me and obviously like I said if you like these sort of videos I've got plenty coming up in 2024 like and subscribe it does help the channel and even if you just want to buy me a coffee there is a little thank you button there 1.99 or whatever it does help me buy equipment like this to do better videos but that's all the, obviously entirely up to you so you don't have to do that and I'm doing these videos for free so that's just if you're feeling generous this Christmas anyways let's get on the ride always land brick weather on the DJI Osmo Action 3 is I really like it you know it's going to be a brilliant addition to my cycling channel because it does exactly what I want it to do and it's reliable the one thing the GoPro isn't and uh, yeah it's going to be a real joy to use its simplicity is one of the benefits because changing from chest to stick is within seconds I don't have to fiddle around with the thumb screws and it works exactly how I want it to hopefully the footage is looking really well obviously there's a bit of rain and spray coming up on the lens so that'd be a good test for it but I love it and uh, I highly recommend it to be honest what I've used it I mean I've only used it a couple of times but I am loving it so today's video over and uh, I hope the footage is a lot better and obviously the rel reliability anyway is just second to none for me the GoPro would have give up ages ago so I'm really happy with this hope you are happy with it and uh, like I said I've got some really big plans in 2024 so please stay tuned with me if you haven't subscribe 
because the Lake District is waiting for us in 2024 and we've got some epic rides to go. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.